here are few rational functions uh, and we are interested in finding out their limit as x approaches infinity okay this is a very important exercise and it also helps us to find out horizontal asymptote uh, for the given function right so limit x approaches infinity or minus infinity at times will give us horizontal asymptote right now here you will notice one thing when i go through the solutions that see the degree of numerator and denominator these are two polynomials right what is the rational function a rational function is a ratio of a quotient of polynomials correct now so denominator and numerator both are polynomials degree of numerator here is 3 and degree of denominator is 3 so they have same degree in this particular case degree of numerator is 2 and degree of denominator is 3 so if I write n as the degree of numerator and m as the degree of denominator then we will say that numerator and denominator degrees are same and we will like to correlate this to the answers later on here the degree of denominator is higher and in the last case degree of numerator is higher right now that makes huge difference in the limit of the function as it approaches infinity I'll show you an approach which can be applied to any rational function and that will help you to find the limit as the function approaches infinity the approach is to factor whatever best can be factored out right so here we can factor out x cube from the numerator and x cube from denominator so we'll do that and see what happens so we'll say this is equal to limit x approaches infinity and we are just factoring out x cube right x cube and we are left with 2 minus 3 over x square right when I factor out x cube so x divided by x cube will result in divided by x square right plus 5 divided by x cube right over we have x cube here and we get 6 plus 1 over x right now this is what we get now from here you can see I can always cancel out x cubes right and I'm left with uh, these things right now here if I say limit x approaches infinity then all these terms where x is in the denominator will approach 0 right so this approaches 0 this approaches 0 right we'll say this approaches 0 correct this also approaches 0 as we approach infinity right and this also approaches 0 correct so you are left with 2 over 6 correct you are left with 2 over 6 see 2 over 6 is what 2 over 6 is the ratio of leading coefficient do you see that 2 over 6 is the ratio of leading coefficient so whenever you are solving such kind of a problem where degree of numerator and denominator is same then the limit approaches the ratio of their leading coefficients do you see that that's a very important conclusion okay and then of course you can simplify it and write 1 over 3 as your answer correct so make a note that if n is the degree of numerator and m is the degree of denominator and if both are equal in that case the limit of the function is the ratio of their leading coefficients okay now let's do the next one we'll follow the same strategy and now what can you take as a, what can you factor out now now here uh, we can factor out x square so let's do that so we'll say x square and then we get 2 here minus 3 over x now you understand plus 1 over x square right and in the denominator also I will factor out x square the reason being is we want to cancel out whatever is a common factor right so we'll take x square and we get here x plus 2 minus 1 over x square correct now now look at it we can of course cancel out the common factors from numerator and denominator which means the x squares right now if I write x approaching infinity then this factor approaches 0 right this also approaches 0 this approaches 0 correct but this factor approaches infinity do you see x approaches infinity so we get something like 1 over infinity right so this boils down to basically 
1 over x. Is that okay? Because x is huge. And since x is a very large number, like approaching infinity, all the other numbers are insignificant. Well, it is 2 here. I should have written 2 here. Okay. So it is 2 over x. Correct. Now, as x is a very large number, this number x plus 2 is approximately equal to x, right? Very, very close. Let's say that x is like 1 million, right? Then 1 million plus 2 is almost a million, right? So, and if the denominator is so high, so 1 divided by 1 million will be 0 0.00005, right? So, it's a very small number, correct? Now, in this case, when you divide, look at 0 0.2, 0 0.10 to the power of minus 6, 2 to the 2 times 10 to the power of minus 6, right? Now, well, in any case, if x is very high, your function really approaches 0, correct? So, the limit of this function is 0. So, you are approaching a fixed value and the value is 0 here. So, what you note here is, if the degree of numerator is lesser than the degree of denominator, so we had, let's say this degree is numerator is n and denominator is m, when they are equal, then this is the case. But if numerator degree is less than denominator degree, then we always get 0 as a limit and the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. Here the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to 1 over 3 in case you are interested in finding horizontal asymptote. Okay, now let's go through the next example. It says x cube over x square. So these are the leading terms which actually decide the limit of the function because if x is very large then their significance is extremely more than the others, right? Because they are like so many to the power, correct? So, uh, let's see what happens. Here, what can you factor out? Again, as before, you could factor out x square. So, we'll factor out x square and we're left with x minus 1 over x plus 5 over x square, right? Divided by, if I factor out x square, I'm left with 1 plus 1 over x square. Now, again, our common factors in numerator and denominator cancel out and as x is very large, approaching infinity, these terms tend to zero. Is that okay? But what happens to this? It also tends to infinity. So this function basically is limit x approaches infinity uh, of x, right? Because all of the terms are insignificant and this, you know, so we say this does not exist. Since as x approaches infinity, this approaches infinity, it does not approach a fixed value, right? So in case numerator degree is greater than denominator degree, then always limit does not exist. So these are very important conclusions from the three examples which I have taken. And basically what you should do is first compare the degrees. If the degree of numerator is same as the degree of denominator, then the ratio of leading coefficients is the limit as the function approaches infinity. If the degree of numerator is less than the degree of denominator as in this case, then the limit is always zeros. So that means x axis, x as your horizontal asymptote, y equals to zero. So we can write this as y equals to zero is my horizontal asymptote, right? Here, y equals to one over three is my horizontal asymptote, correct? Here we don't really have a horizontal asymptote as a function approaches infinity, it's like a line, right? It approaches infinity. So it does not approach a fixed value. So in case the degree of the numerator is higher, it could be five, seven, whatever, higher than the denominator, then the limit does not exist. Okay, so these are very important conclusions which are going to help us uh, in many places and calc while doing calculus, right? Finding limits and uh, horizontal asymptotes. Okay, thank you.